Right, it's Catherine Hinton, otherwise known as Henna Cat here, and I'm doing a workshop on how to do a typical Indian rose design. So I've got my henna cone, I've cut the end of it so that a small amount comes out when I squeeze it, and I've tested that on a uh, tissue. So everything looks good, so we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of three flowers and I'm going to start by putting a dot in the centre of um, my model's um, back of the hand. I'm then going to draw a circle around it. Now as you can see, the more times I go over the line, the thicker it becomes. I'm also dropping the henna on the hands rather than trying to press the cone into the skin. And on this next um, movement you'll see this a little more clearly as we do a series of N shapes around that circle. And you can see how the henna paste is a nice round shape. Now I'm just going to go over the tops of that shape just to give it a little bit of thickness and depth. And then I'm going to go on to the next part of the design which is a rose shaped leaf and the way we do these in, in henna it's basically like a big M shape. So a little bit like a heart actually. Don't worry if you make any mistakes because you can wipe them off. Wipe them off quickly or incorporate them into the design. So here I'm just going to do a dot and a line. A dot and a line. And this is the stamen of the flowers. So they're usually yellow and the reason that you do the dot is that anchors the paste. As you can see, again, drawing the paste in a line. I'm not really touching the skin, I'm laying it down on the skin. And then again I'm going to thicken up these lines on the outside just to give a little bit of depth to the design. Every so often you want to just wipe the end of the cone just to get any henna that's stuck there off. And I'm going to start on the third flower. So again circle, dot, little end shapes. over the outsides and then the open heart shapes or letter M's I'm just adding a bit of extra thickness There's flower number two. Third flower we're going to do is a little bit different. So I'm just going to add a spiral design here. Just to go down the finger. You don't have to if you don't want to. And I'm going to put my centre part of the flower here. I'm just going to do one open heart or M shape because if you do too much between the fingers 
all that happens is that the person you're doing the henna on is going to smudge them. So let's add some embellishments. This is a very traditional way to embellish a henna design is just doing these long U shapes that get smaller and smaller. Again we can add some dots at the base and then some small heart shapes on the finger. And these are easy, they're just two dots drawn together. I'm going to do a leaf now and here you're just going to do a simple leaf shape again don't worry too much about making mistakes because we're going to go over these areas here's the main stalk or stem and then here are the little lines that you usually see on leaves and you can pick up your henna that's made a mistake usually and lift it to somewhere where you want it to be. Can add a couple more hearts. And there you go, you've completed your first henna design.